and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Chicago White Sox. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the mound in this one, Tuki Tucson. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something Leading back a little bit later, maybe Cleveland. second, third time the through the order and give them Steven. something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes. Stephen Kwan stands in now and watches strike one. Hey, plays at one now. Pitch misses. Gonna count one and two. Let's go, Chicago. To the right side, Andrews fires over to first. One up, one down. Batting second, the third baseman. Jose. Here's Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Swing and a base hit. Around first, heading for two. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Really stayed inside that baseball to send it to the opposite field. With the shift on to the pull side, that's an easy knock if you'll take it. One out, runner at second. Josh Naylor digs in for the Guardians. Come on, hold him down. That misses. Ball one. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And the pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. Oh, he gloves it. And very nicely done for the out. First of all, that's a great diving stop to keep the ball on the infield. Then he's able to get up and get an out. He also keeps that runner from advancing any further. If that ball gets through, the complexion of this inning could be drastically different. Here's Cole Calhoun. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put them in center field. And the righty deals. Late with the swing there. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. In the air, center field. Andrews on the move. Nice it. grab on the run. And that is that. One left for the Guardians. Now it's the White Sox turn. It's a scoreless ball game. Back after this on the show.
Back at guaranteed rate field. And towing the slab in this one, Cal Quantrill. Well, he features a lot of arm side run on his fastball. Now, to opposite-handed hitters, it can be good. You get your arms extended. But for same side hitters, it can run in on your hands and really tie you up. So you've got to force him out over the plate if you're hitting from the same side that he throws. We'll see if this lineup can figure it out and if they can square that running fastball up. Loriano. Toussaint back to work. And that one sliced foul. All right, come on now. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And the right-hander deals. Pop up here, third base side. That one gets down for a hit. No, that's two strike hidden right there. He did the well just to put the ball in play. Grace. You'll take those blue pits off the end of the bat all day long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. Here's Andres Jimenez. There's a strike. Loriano gets his lead at first with nobody out. Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. No, he held up. Hey, grounder right here. Late that time, and it's strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. Got him. One gone here. Always a tough call to make as a third base umpire. You're a long way away. It's not a great angle, and it happens so quickly, but it's part of the job, sometimes just a coin flip. Well, what do you got on it? I think he got it right. I think he went. Yeah, I think so, and I think that's a good call. But you talk to umpires, and they say sometimes it can be really difficult depending on what color the bat is, what color the uniform is. Things that you just wouldn't think about come into play when they're trying to make a quick call like that. What if we just went possession arrow? <laughs> That'd be great. Will Brennan, batting with one down, takes a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. He was all over that the one. Catcher. I really like Bo. that swing, man. He didn't just Nimmer. push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. First and second, one out. Bo Naylor digs in for the Guardians. Double play ball to second. There's one. Over to first, hey, safe. Batting up for the shortstop, Brian Rocchio. Here's Brian Rocchio. You out here? Just off the outside edge. Next offering is in for a strike. That's a hit. Runner from third in to score. It's 1-1. Now I could watch base hits like that one all day Steven. long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So the batting order turns over. 
Now at the plate, Stephen Kwan. He's 0 for 1. Now a slow roller to second. Andrews. They take the force out. That ends the frame. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We go to the bottom of inning number two. All tied 1-1. And welcome back. Leading Top half the of the Guardians. third inning. So in now for Jose Cleveland, Bateman. Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. And a pitch. You know, say Jose Ramirez signed that big extension, a five-year, $124 million contract before the 2022 season. But right before that happened, the Guardians came this close to trading him. Pitch misses outside. And it's a ball and a strike. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. To third, Moncada fires to first on the run. And one away in the top of the third. Well, a tremendous stop the there, but it looked like he had a little two. trouble getting off the Josh. throw as quickly as he would have liked. Had to get something on it to beat the runner. And now it's Josh Naylor grounded out his first time. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Naylor hitting third in the lineup, and he was born in Canada. One down, base is empty. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Didn't exactly now square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. Man at first with one gone. Cole Calhoun digs in for the Guardians. And that's in there for strike one. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to Andrews. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. All tied 1-1. One, one. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Ramon Laureano. Ramon Laureano. And a pitch. On the ground to the left. Zips it across. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Now batting. Second baseman. Andres Jimenez. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. In there, and it's 0-1. Good eye in that spot. Come on, guys. And that one is inside. Started to swing, held up. And now it's filled up. 
Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And now Will Brennan. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. I got it, I got it. Sheets pulls it down, and that's the third out. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. Score remains tied, 1-1. All set for the start of the inning. The Here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. The catcher, Bo on, fellas, let's go. Naylor. The wide to kick the pitch. And downstairs. You know, these Guardians doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so... They keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. And that one is lifted in the air. Ben Intendi ranging after it. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Rokio in now takes ball one off the plate. The next pitch misses, and it's two and zero. Oh. And he deals. That misses, and it's three and zero. Oh. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. That one finds the zone. Three balls and a strike. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And he held back, according to Larry Bullard. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right now there. Back. Pretty much gifted in first field. base with a quick free yeah. pass. Stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. Pitch misses there, 1-0. and oh. Left-hand hitter waits. Just off the outside part of the plate. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Off the mark there. Three balls, no strikes. Jose Ramirez next to bat for Cleveland. Rokio leads off first with one away. In for a strike, now three and one. Ground ball could be two. Tags the runner for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Last half of the fifth coming up. All tied 1-1. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Now this is in the air down the line. Sheets gets there. Oh He's God, under it. it. One away. 
Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The first baseman. Here's Josh Naylor. Josh one for Naylor. two. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. First offering, and it just misses. Kick, and deals. There's your strike. Slapped foul. Here's a one two. And down on strikes. Two gone now. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Now it's the Guardians' DH, Cole Calhoun. Calhoun, a former Gold Glove winner, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2010. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch, and he's been able to stay down. That's what's two been down key. Now, two down. That That's misses the zone, and the count is one and one. one, ball, one Swing and a miss. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Tapped softly on the ground. Andrews slings the first, and that is that. So they go quietly there. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the White Sox two and the Guardians one. Back here at the ballpark, here's the center fielder. Get ahead, stay ahead, right now. Tucson, back to work. Swing and a miss. All ones the count. High fly ball out to center field. Naquin makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting. The second baseman. Andre. So digging Jimenez. in, Andres Jimenez. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. He's been going after these guys consistently. And as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Looking to get the tying run on base. There's a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The pitch. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. Right I mean, that move. thing tumbles out of Real. his hand and just drops Brennan. off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Brennan stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The tying run at the plate. On the ground, right side. Vaughn steps on the bag, and that will end the inning. So they make short work of him there. 
Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the White Sox two and the Guardians one. White Sox going with a new arm, Garrett Crochet. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Our final life.